Welcome to the Vyond Podcast. Hi there. Get ready, because today we're journeying into, well, our own Milky Way. Something really quite strange has been found. That's right, lurking relatively close by, actually. Yeah, a black hole they've nicknamed the Unicorn. Uh-huh. And just think about that for a second. A black hole, right? This place where gravity is so intense, absolutely nothing gets out. Not even light. Not even light. And this one astronomers have found, it's uh, surprisingly small and pretty close, galactically speaking. Okay, the unicorn. Why that name? Seems a bit whimsical for a black hole. It does, yeah. Well, there are a couple of reasons. It's partly because it's so unusual, uh, particularly its size. It's only about three times the mass of our sun. Wow, that is small for a black hole. It really is. It kind of pushes the boundary of what we thought was the minimum size. Right. And uh, the other reason for the name, it's in a binary system. Meaning it orbits another star. Exactly. It's orbiting a red giant star, V723 Amon. And they're located in the constellation Monoceros. Monoceros. Latin for unicorn. You got it. Fits nicely, doesn't it? It does. So how far away are we talking? You said relatively close. Yeah, roughly 1,500 light years, which I know sounds immense. Definitely not next door. No, but on the scale of the Milky Way, it's practically in our neighborhood. Okay, so finding something that small, that far away, how on earth did they manage that? You can't just see a black hole. Right, exactly. Black holes are, well, black. They don't give off light or radio waves or anything our telescopes usually pick up. So uh, it was indirect. Like finding footprints instead of the animal itself. That's a great analogy. They watched its companion star, the red giant. The unicorn's gravity is actually pulling on that star. Pulling on it. Yeah, it distorts its shape. Kind of stretches it into like an egg shape. Okay. And as that stretched star orbits, the light we see from it changes subtly. It varies in a specific way. Ah, uh, so by watching the visible star wobble or change brightness. Precisely. By carefully analyzing those tiny changes in the red giant's light, they could figure out there had to be something massive but invisible tugging on it. And they could even calculate its mass. That's incredibly clever. Yeah. So why is finding this specific small black hole such a big deal? Well, it really shakes things up a bit. This unicorn falls right into what astronomers call the mass gap. Mass gap. Yeah, it's um, a range of mass between the heaviest known neutron stars, which are leftover cores of smaller bed stars, and what we previously thought were the smallest black holes. So there was this gap where we didn't see objects. Exactly. We saw neutron stars up to a certain mass, and then black holes starting at a significantly higher mass with almost nothing in between. Finding the unicorn there is uh, surprising. So it challenges the theories. It definitely does. It suggests maybe stars can collapse into black holes in ways or under conditions we hadn't fully considered. It sort of blurs the lines. Right. It makes you rethink how these things actually form after a star dies. Precisely. It opens up questions about stellar evolution, about the endpoints of stars' lives. Maybe there's a whole population of these smaller black holes we just haven't found yet because they're harder to detect. So this unicorn, just three times the mass of our sun, 1,500 light years away. It's not just a curiosity. It's actually forcing a rethink of how black holes might form across the galaxy. That's the key takeaway, yeah. It suggests the universe might be making these things in more ways than our models accounted for. Very exciting stuff. Absolutely fascinating. Well, that's all we have time for on this deep dive. Always great to explore these cosmic mysteries. Stay tuned to the Vyond Podcast for more such intriguing stories from the vast expanse of the universe and beyond.